Hello guys. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use Data Grid View Control in C Sharp. I'm going to start with uh, by creating a new project in C Sharp. Project uh, type is going to be Windows Desktop Application, Windows Forms. Name it. Uh, going to start by creating a model by adding a class I'm going to name it something like uh, person I'm add some attribute like ID And we are going to add a data grid view. Okay. It's going to resize the form to fit. In the loading of the form, I'm going to populate it with some data, with some simple data. Let's create a list of persons. in this list and new person name person one person ID one okay. name. just to have some data return list this is what we need here then I'm going to say about people testing people and I'm going to say data we want a source how this looks like okay now I have the columns which match the person class person ID name surname and profession pretty nice huh now if I want to hide this column I can do something like this columns person ID visible false if I run this code again you can see that the person ID is not being displayed it's not visible and then uh, as you can see if I click the rows I get a selection in particular cell 
but what I want is that when I click some of these cells in the same row I want the full row select so how do I do that I go in the form designer I click the data get view control properties and I go to selection mode selection mode and I specify full row select and now we check this if I click on the rows I get the full row select okay what else, else is important here is to retrieve the selected item and to convert it back to the data bound item and then you can use it uh, to update the rows or to delete the rows in the database or do the crude operations against the database what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add some columns here some uh, text boxes like a label here say person ID person ID this is gonna be first name this is gonna be last name If you click control and you do uh, uh, and you move a, con a control then you get a duplicate of the control mm -hmm. so I continue to do this for three of the controls and I'm gonna name this Facebook person ID and this one is gonna be uh, first name it's gonna be last name okay I need another one. Okay. This is going to be professional. Professional. Let's make this longer. Okay. What I'm going to do now is that when I click this, these controls get populated with the data I have in my rows in the data grid. So if you uh, go to the properties, on the double click of this I get a cell content click event or I can do this event when somebody clicks on the rows or I can do it in double click just let's do it in the single click event and then we can get the data out from the selected row just do a double click here and uh, let's do a try catch in case of an error I display a message Selected and the data bar uh, selected the rows of says zero data bound item. So this is an object for each of the select item in the data bound item we get the object that we have uh, bound to a data source in this case we have bound people which is a type person and then in data bound item I'm going to receive a person as person so in the selected row or I can call it selected person I have all the data now I can say this dot uh, or Box. Oh, you didn't this. 
This is uh, this shouldn't be text box one, but it should be text box profession. And uh, now I can say text box person ID dot text is equal to selected person dot person ID. In this case, you have the person ID, person ID, you can say, you can update can refresh the list. So. Think of this row here, list of people. You can re receive this from the database and then people and the user is going to select the, the row in the list. to change something and then update the database by clicking some button okay this is it for data grid view data grid uh, control I hope you enjoyed watching this video